Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety, and panic attacks. Please don't only listen, rather, only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're well. I thought I'd do a relaxation technique. So this is a relaxation technique that you can do yourself. And I do this when I need a break. If I've just got home from somewhere, been out, a little bit stressed maybe, um, this is something that I do. And I guess it's almost meditation, but it's not. But maybe it is, but it's, it's just, it's really just sitting. But noticing how you feeling so I'm going to do it now so I'll do it while while we're talking and um, so it really is a case of ideally taking your shoes off if you've got slippers on or you know something so that your feet are nice and comfortable If you're wearing tight trousers, then maybe take the trousers off again, put on something more comfortable. Uh, if you're wearing something tight on top, maybe remove that and put, you know, make, make yourself comfortable, basically, that's what I'm saying, so that you're not restricted in any way, physically. And then just sit down before you do this, maybe have a have some water or something. If you need to do that, attend other things. If you need to go to the toilet, you know those kinds of things. And then just sit down in a comfortable chair, one that supports your body, even in the event of you falling asleep. So you know you're not going to fall out. It supports your body. And this isn't sleep. You might fall asleep, which is fine, but it's not sleep. It really is just a short relaxation exercise. And what I do is, with my clickety chair that I'm sitting in, I just sit down, I have my hands resting on my legs. And I close my eyes. And I just listen. I listen for what's around. Just noticing what sounds there are. There may be very little sounds. There might be nothing. But there might maybe a plane going by. Or a neighbour. You can hear them in the kitchen cooking food or whatever. You know, it could be anything. You might be in a house with other people. Uh, you might have a family, that are kids playing in the next room. That's all okay. This doesn't need silence. All this is, is noticing. In some ways, it, you're getting in touch with how you feel, but at the same time, you're also noticing outside things. Because sometimes, you know, if you say to someone that's stressed and anxious, uh, sit down and get in touch with how you feel, they will perhaps look at you very oddly uh, maybe even verbally say 
I know how I feel. I feel crappy. I feel stressed. I feel tense. Which is true. So we don't necessarily need a huge amount of effort to get in touch with how we're feeling if we're feeling particularly physically uh, tense or stressed. Which is why, first of all, we focus out. Because chances are that we may have spent the last half an hour, maybe more, very much focused just on ourselves and how we're feeling and all the uh, thoughts that go along with that you know, the stories and the possible quite negative thoughts as well so by noticing other sounds uh, I guess as you're listening to me you're focusing on my voice as well so I'm I'm one of those sounds but I won't be one of those sounds if you do this without listening to me it's kind of obvious I suppose but you know if you do this just on your own without listening to anything you'll have the background sounds and now I'd like you to focus on the chair that you're sitting in. Focus on how it feels to be sitting in that chair. So there's, there's certain parts of your body that are touching the chair, like your bum, probably your lower back, maybe most of your back, depending on how high the back is on the chair. Um, your thighs, Maybe like my the way my legs are, some of my calf muscles. How many calf muscles do I have too? But my calves are touching uh, my arms a little bit, are touching the sides of the chair. And you may have a chair that goes so high up that your head is resting. Just noticing how the chair feels not so much how your body feels but how the chair feels against your body hmm now focus on the floor now my feet are uh, on the floor, they were actually resting a bit up against the, the chair and the balls of my feet are on the floor but now I've put my feet flat. So just notice whatever part of your feet are on the floor. Of course you may be wearing slippers, flip flops. I don't know, whatever you've got on your shoe, on your feet, socks. But you can notice the feeling of the floor underneath your feet. Just being aware of that sensation. And it's not so much about how your feet feel, it's about how does the floor feel is it lumpy is it flat is it cool is it warm is it you know how, how does it feel and I'd like you to focus on the air the air which is something you may not have been aware of at all until right now just notice the air in the room 
and you can get a, a, a kind of a taste, a sense of the coolness of the air when you breathe. See, if I breathe in through my nose, I can, you know, feel the air, but if I breathe in through my mouth, it's very cool. It's definitely a, a different type of temperature. I can gauge the temperature more when I breathe in through my mouth. And that may well be more to do with the taste buds and all the nerve endings in the tongue and the gums as the air moves in. And again, not breathing in a, a meditative way. It's just breathing because that's what we need to do. So we're not really focusing on the breathing itself. You know, your body can do that on its own. It doesn't need your help. We can focus on the, the feeling of the air as it enters your body. See, I can notice the the temperature of the air on my forehead and my eyes. And if you like, what you can do is move your head a little bit. Maybe from side to side, providing your neck's fine and you know you're physically able to do that. You're just gently moving your head. Which means your you know your face and your head is moving through the air and you can feel it it might sound strange but it's almost it's not like water you, you know if you're underwater you can feel the movement of the water or the the you know the the pressure of your body part against the water so there's no pressure from the air but you can definitely feel the movement a better way of uh, really getting in touch with the air and maybe the temperature and how the moving through the air feels is by moving your hands around. So I'm moving my arms and my hands, just waving them in front of myself, which is probably why it's a good idea to do this when you're on your own. If you're, if you're on a bus, somebody might, might get some funny looks. Although you'll have your eyes closed so you won't see it. So, just moving the hands around, that in itself feels really relaxing, especially in my shoulders, back of my neck, and in the arms. But you can feel the coolness of the air as your hands and fingers move through the air. I put my hands down again. And as you've done that, we've been, we've been doing this for a few minutes. Start to notice how you feel. How you feel different. And as you allow that awareness of uh, you know the calmness that has been growing within you what you can do is go inside your mind and open all of the windows maybe you didn't realize there was windows there before 
But now you know that there's this cool air. Open all the windows and allow that cool air just to blow through your mind. Blowing away any dust, blowing away any thoughts that are no longer needed. Blowing away negativity and stress. And you know what it's like, especially on a windy day, if you have two windows open, or if you have the front door open and a window open, doors start to slam, don't they? You can uh, feel the air moving through the room. Feeling the air with calmness, filling your mind with a, a sense of peace, which is, it's just really nice. It's really nice to be able to experience just a bit of calmness and a, a bit of relaxation that has arisen naturally just by focusing on a few things that you weren't focusing on before and you could just sit in that chair for as long as you want to enjoying the feeling just enjoying it sitting with it for as long as you choose for as long as you choose And I'm going to leave you to just enjoy the feelings of comfort and relaxation. And remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.